And tonight, Prince Harry released a powerful trailer for a new Netflix documentary called The Heart of Invictus in a remarkable change of course from his previous collaborations with the company. The Duke, who is preparing for his Invictus Games brainchild to kick off its latest edition next month, can be seen in the teaser telling viewers how veterans can learn to be part of a community again. Watch. It is here at the Invictus Games that you realize whatever you carry, it was the springboard that propelled you to the next level. If your goal was to make your country proud, you've done it. If your goal was to make your family happy, you've achieved it. You are people of substance, of resilience, of strength. You have the heart of Invictus. So, I mean, Angela Levin, this is the Prince Harry that we've probably been wanting to see for a very long time. The Invictus Games is unquestionably a brilliant project, and that looks like a really powerful film. Yes, I felt very moved when I saw the, you know, thing of just advertising it, mm. because when I went round with him in... 2017 and we'd see lots of soldiers and where they were staying to try and get them better he was absolutely superb he gave them enormous courage and he said you know if you're healing we all need healing you know don't mm -hmm. worry it'll come you know you'll be the family will be fine with you the country will be so proud of you so this was harry at his best yes this was harry at his best incredibly positive uh, but very subtle he never asked anything too you know, too um, personal. He was just really there for them, and he he made jokes, and he was absolutely wonderful. And I would talk to these guys after he moved on to the mm. next one, to, and some of them say, you know, I've been in a room with the clouds, with the curtains closed. I haven't done a thing. I haven't wanted to go here because I don't think I'm worth anything. I was very strong. Now I'm weak. He said, he's made me feel I want to live again. And this was said in various different ways to at least 20 people who'd served in the army who were badly um, physically wounded mm. or mentally. So I couldn't believe that this was that Harry again. I mean, it was very touching and moving. What is quite interesting, though, when they were filming this documentary, the cameras followed him and Meghan around everywhere. There, there were lots of behind-the-scenes shots going on it the previous Invictus Games, she doesn't feature once in the trailer. We obviously don't know if she's been dropped from the show itself, but do you think that's a significant decision? I think it's a very significant decision, and I think they didn't want Meghan to take the show because once she's there, she has to be in the front line. Um, but what is, is said is that she is going to it. She might not stay the whole week. But, but it feels like professionally they're moving in separate directions at the moment, doesn't it? And this is another example. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I said that to you. I think they're further and further away. But actually, um, Harry now seems to be much happier, much stronger. And actually, mm. the things he said he wanted to talk to about the... Um, the, the invalids are coming better. I felt, actually, it was for himself mm. that he can be stronger. And I did ask him a very difficult question to say, what, can I ask you about a difficult question? And he said, all right. And I said, when you go and see these soldiers who've had terrible experiences mm. and they've been scared and they want to um, build up again, do you feel that you're also helping yourself for that? It's therapy for you. And he paused for at least a minute. I thought I'd be thrown out of Kensington Palace <laughs> where I did it. And then he said, yes, absolutely, I feel it. Uh, it helps me to heal as well. Wow. And that's quite interesting, actually, whether that will come over with it. I got the feeling, seeing those trailers, that, that it would. And I hope it does, because perhaps he can see through lots of things that he didn't want to see through before. And he will move forward. But she's so powerful over him. Well, what's but been interesting, difficult. though, she is also wanting to be seen on her own because we saw this social media picture of her uh, posted this week with her hairdresser, Katie Lee, and the author, Cleo Wade, having a great time. There they are. So... I think that's such a nonsense. I think that's very childlike, that because she... Harry was in uh, pictures... Mm. Um, having fun with his best man. Yeah, but... You don't have to come out and compete mm. with that. She doesn't want him to get any more attention than she does. She wants, she's used to him now walking behind mm. her like a servant. 
So I think that that's what mm. that is. That's got nothing to do with actually. Yeah. I'm having a lovely time. She's got to be in the centre stage. Who cares who she sees on a day? All women go out and see their friends. You meet your mm. friends. You know, it's just mm. it's pathetic. King Charles has made the decision to spend summer staying at Balmoral, mm. sticking with the tradition of the late Queen. This has pleased traditionalists, of course, because lots of folk believe that he would prefer to stay at Burkle, where he mm. has enjoyed most of his summers. Do you think this is the right decision? It's almost like he's paying tribute to his mother here. I think it is paying tribute to his mother. And I think when you're in a home that she's been to so many times, you can feel a presence. Mm. And I think that's what they both want, because he wouldn't do it if if Camilla wasn't interested as well. And I think that's very powerful. And I think it might be the last time, because he has mentioned about turning it into a museum, letting people come. So it sort of might be a tribute to the late Queen yes. this year, yes. and then Moving over forward. the years going forward, he will open Balmoral yes. up for us to see, because in reality, probably long term, he'll be at Burkhall. Yes, yeah. and I think if he wants people to come over, they're not going to stay there, they're going to come and visit him. That's a good place too, because they yeah. can all have that feeling. People yeah. leave their feeling yeah. behind them. And it's been them. a very emotional year, of course. Yes. Angela Levin, thank yes. you so much. We will speak next week. Thank you.